All right, folks, the Weeble S versus the Crane 3S. Today, we're going to compare these gimbal and see if the Weeble S can compete against the mighty Crane 3S. If you can decide which one you should get uh, and what fits for your camera setup, let me guide you along so you can get clarified on which gimbal is right for you. So let's take a look at these two gimbals and see what we got. Here we go. Alright, first off we have build quality of these two gimbal. Which one is the best? The Weeble S has most plastic, it's made mostly of plastic, There's some metal parts on it but it doesn't feel that robust, where the Crane 3 is, is a tank. There's metal all over it, it feels like a robust gimbal, it is heavy and very well built, I think. So, build quality, I say to go to the Crane 3S because it just feels more robust than the Weeble S. Right, the next category is price. What are these two gimbals priced currently? The Weeble S right now sells for $399 and the uh, Crane 3S sells for $739. So it's nearly double the price for the Crane 3S, but taking consideration the Crane 3S is for larger cameras than the Weeble S is. So therefore there is a big price difference of these two gimbals. All right, then we got payload capacity of these two gimbals. The Crane's wrist can take an impressive 6.5 kilos, which is just mind blowing. Where the Weeble S, it's a bit different. There you have to go into the compatibility list to see if your camera setup fits with this gimbal. In my Weeble S versus Crane 3 lab video I made a while back, I actually called Shuren to see if they can clarify what the payload capacity of this gimbal was. You can go back and watch that video. But I think it is time to give Shuren a call one more time to see if they can clarify what kind of camera setup actually fits for what gimbal. So let's go out and call Shuren. Yeah, Haley, Pete here. Uh, remember last time I called about the payload capacity? Yeah, yeah. So now I'm making a video about the Crane 3S and the Weeble S and just want to determine what camera goes on to what. Yeah, so everything above the the, uh, the s 18 like the 1DX Mark II, you'll take the Crane 3S. Yeah, and you have a Sony camera like the Sony Alpha, the GH5, you'll go for the Weeble S. Yeah, because the Crane 3S is modular, you can put e even bigger cameras on there. Yeah, yeah, so it's a cinema grade kind of gimbal. So understood, I will tell them later tonight what you said and uh, yeah, see you around. Okay, bye. So you heard it, anything bigger than the S1H, you have to take the Crane 3S. But the Weeble S is no joke. It easily takes my GH5 with a 10 to 25 millimeter Leica lens on. So there's a lot of talk in this one, but for larger cameras, go for the Crane 3S. All right, next up is portability or travel friendliness. Which one of these two gimbals packs down the easiest? The Weeble S is made so smooth that it has quick release plates if you buy them. So you can pack this gimbal down in a very small form factor. Where the Crane 3S is much bigger and therefore not that easy to take along. But with the new design, the Crane 3S is actually not that bad. You can take off the handle, there you go. And you can screw off the bottom legs. And then you're left with this. So you can actually easily pack this down than you could with the Crane 3 Lab. But we have to say that the Weeble S is the most travel friendliness 
uh, of these two gimbals because it just fits in any backpack. Setup time of these two gimbals, uh, the Weeble S is definitely fast to set up and that's because of the quick release plate you have up here then you don't have to rebalance the gimbal once you've taken the camera off. On mine I have an, another quick release plate which I think is easier than the one on the Weeble S but it works in the same way. On the Crane 3S you don't have that, you have to use the base plate, slide that in and out when you take the camera off. Of course you can add another quick release plate on there, but when you're rocking big cameras, I don't know. But it is not a problem, I think I think what they gave us here, the Manfrotto base plate, is a great update. But the Weeble S is definitely fast. Battery. Two batteries in here, three over here, but they both last about 12 hours. So not much of a difference right there. They use the same batteries. So if you got multiple shoeing, shoeing gimbals, you can use the same batteries on each of these gimbals. Then we have the locks. On the Weeble S, there is a bit of a problem with the locks. As you can see, I'm rocking a duct tape here to hold this lock in place because it easily just slides back in to the locking position. I don't think the position of the locks are that clever because one is on this side, another is on this side. So I do not like the locks on the Weeble S. When the Crane 3S, you have this new three locking system where it is open, then there's the middle lock where it's just locked and then you can tighten the locks for it to be firmly tight. They are positioned very well so you can find them easily. They are big and easy to see. So the locks, I like them on the Crane 3S. Then we got accessories for these two gimbals. There ain't that much accessories yet for the Crane 3S. Where on the Weeble S, there's a lot of accessories. You got the quick release plates, you can get other handles and so on. But for the shoeing accessories, you can use the uh, Transmount wireless system for both of these, and of course the uh, Transmount remote control also works for the Crane Rears and the Weeble S. But how many mounting points do we have for the Weeble S? We have one mounting point here on the side, which I use for a monitor, and on the Crane 3S over here, you have the same kind of mounting point right down here but they also added one on the other side. So two on this one and one on the Weeble S. All right, so which one of these gimbal do I prefer? I prefer the Weeble S because it's smaller and I like to use the gimbal with my GH5. And this easily goes into my backpack and so on. Where the Crane 3S, it's a much bigger and much bulkier gimbal which wears me down very fast. I can't shoot with this for a whole day. When the Weeble S, I can easily do that. And if you are rocking the uh, side handle, if you want this side handle, you can go on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description because this just gives you so much added control. Unfortunately, you cannot use that with the uh, Crane 3S right now. You can get it on there but you cannot use the tripod legs. But if you go and buy the tripod legs from the Weeb for the Crane 3 Lab, it will fit. But right now, it doesn't fit. All right, guys, that is my comparison of these two gimbals. If you're interested in learning more about gimbals and the Weeble S, I have a full series about this gimbal. So I'll link some of the videos down here so you can go back and see that. And of course, if you're new here, remember to subscribe. All right, guys, that is it. All I gotta say now is stay safe and I will see you back here next time. Bye.